welcome back to the channel and we're on a 500 pound to 15,000 pound challenge again unlucky episode 13 which means anything that I touch is going to break or take three times as long as it should or I'm just going to blow my brains financially on this car so with that said um, let's get started I suppose uh, today, my main aim is to hopefully sort the diesel leak. Now, we did get a bag of bits. I'm sure there was a pipe in here as well. Yeah, the, the guy I bought it off, I think he's sort of one of these Facebook fucking car, car traders. Um... And this Fiesta had come up from Blackburn, apparently, with a diesel leak. Um, apparently they tried to, or they have swapped an injector, number three. Now, I don't know whether that was because it was leaking or whether the copper washer was blowing. It was, you know, chuffing out of that injector. But, yeah, there's some uh, new copper washers, some new R-clips for the leak-off pipes. Some new oil seals, I think, by the looks of it there as well. <clears throat> I'm sure there was a pipe in here. Unless I've just fucking made it up. Uh, and the other thing is, I've got a new battery for it as well. So we'll start with taking that off this. It was 36 quid for the battery. So if we uh, re remove that from there. Uh, and I've also bought a fuel filler flap for it. Because as you've seen in the previous episode, it's missing. The fucking the silver like cover's snapped off. The only thing it hasn't done, it hasn't come with a key. Um, but I do know a locksmith that I'm hoping will be able to pick the lock. And then if I can sort of rearrange the wafers in there to suit that key, then we'll be on to a winner. Because um, a barrel kit from Ford is about 62 quid plus the VAT. And I can't really justify spending that. So without further ado, let's get this diesel leak sorted. I have actually moved house and it's come with some land. It's not it's not that land, but it's this little sort of garden bit. Plenty enough for me. Four or five cars on it. Ideal. Let's crack on. So first thing I'm gonna do is just whip this airbox out. See if I can get a better view of uh, these injectors and the pipes, see if I can actually see where the leak's coming from. Now I have worked on one of these before with a similar sort of leak and it was one of these plastic pipes had rubbed through sort of on the bottom of the airbox. Uh, that wasn't actually leaking diesel, that was sort of if you left it overnight, it actually struggled to uh, struggled to start. Uh, and yeah we found a, a split in an, uh, one of these one of these plastic pipes. So I'm going to start it up. In fact, I have to put the new battery on first. We'll swap this battery. We can actually now see top of the injectors. Sort of the leak off pipes are here. Yeah, we should be able to see where it's leaking from. Wicked. So I'm going to take the 10 mils out of these. So these terminals are going to stay on this battery and hopefully I'll just be able to place these on the new battery for now until I get the sort of the stud and bolt that's uh, designed for them. Obviously you meant to do negative first but this battery is flat and fork, so it isn't going to matter. Hmm. 
does it lift out? Should do. Yeah. Promising already. Might give it a little tap with a hammer if I've got one. Big ratchet will do. Lovely. Right, well I'm pretty sure I've found the course. I'll bring you in. Look at that leak off pipe there. That is fucking hanging out of the injector. Same with that one. Same with that one. The only one that's in properly, in fact that one's not really in either, they're all hanging out, now I'll, I'll switch the engine off. So it looks like it's just the uh, the clips on the leak off pipes, now I've had it happen to myself, it was on a, an 1800 diesel Focus from Mondeo, but the injectors are at the front, a lot more accessible, and what it is, I think, let me just grab one of these clips, yeah, obviously these clips obviously go in and lock the pipe. There's like a shoulder on the on the union of the pipe and they lock lock it into place. And I think over time or if when you remove them, this fucking clip opens up. Um doesn't have the same grip on the pipe. So either new clips or squeeze the old clips up and back together to, to tighten them again basically. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If that has fixed it, then yes, free, free fix. I'm going to whip the rocker cover off because um, it's going to be easier to get in. I've done them leak off pipes before with the rocker cover in place and it's a ball ache. You can fiddling around with some long nose pliers and fucking picks, dropping stuff here, there and everywhere. So I'm going to take the rocker cover off. Probably get a new gasket for it because I don't know if it looks like it's, there's an oil leak there as well. Uh, not going to video it because it's starting to fucking rain. Tosser. It's the only thing now. I'll have to sort myself a bit of a shelter out somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back when I've got that rocker cover off. So the rocker cover's nearly ready to come off. Wasn't actually as bad as I remember. This boost pipe, bolt, and a couple of Jubilee clips. An EGR pipe in the back here. Fuel filter sort of unbolted and hanging out the way. Only thing that has happened when I've tried to take this leak off pipe off, this fucking union snapped. So yeah, I've got to get a new one of them. So it's not gonna be running today. But this should lift out like that the gasket actually looks oh no it's fucking been nipped there on it so I have to get a new one of them as well yeah it's not going to be running today bollocks but it's not as bad as it could have been I suppose Right, unfortunately, that's us done for the day. The curse of episode 13. Um, hardly done out. Um, yeah, that bus leak off pipe. Could have sworn I had one in that bag. But I um, can get one for tomorrow for the Ford, Ford main dealer. 24 quid plus the VAT. 
then I can have it tomorrow. Or they're like a tenner on eBay, but you know, you could be waiting two or three days. You, you know, it's uncertain, isn't it? But say, they've got one in Lancaster in stock on the shelf. So yeah, we'll do that and we'll uh, I'll get a new rocker gasket. We'll go at it again tomorrow and hopefully she's running and leak free. Fingers crossed. So to be continued. Okay, we're back. Next day now. We've got the bits, rocker gasket, leak off pipe. So we paid uh, 1261 for the rocker gasket. And I haven't got the invoice for the leak off pipes yet, but they were they were about 30 quid I think, including the VAT. Let's get them fitted. Got me long nose pliers. And I'm just gonna pull this old clip out. Where we are, right there. Don't drop it into the uh, inlet manifold there. Just put them up there. We'll probably use the new ones anyway. So I'll pull the rest of them out. And then we'll put the new pipes in. And there we go. Right now, before we put any new pipes on, just got some blue roll. I want to mop up any puddles of diesel that are going to be uh, sort of resting on top of this cylinder head. Just so it doesn't look like it's still leaking, or so we can see if it does puddle up again, we know that it, it is still leaking. Hopefully, going to make our lives a bit easier. So, I'll just continue mopping. You don't need to see this, I don't think. You get the picture. Right, so another thing I wanted to check, because this has happened to me in the past as well. These unions here. Now sometimes when you crack these pipes, sort of this union adapter sort of cracks off with the pipe and you, you might not notice it. And that is the case with this one. So I'm gonna crack all these off, make sure these Unions are all tight on the injectors because they're going to leak if they're not tight and then we'll put the pipes back on. So I've got a 14 and a 13. I'm just going to start at this end and work my way to the other end. So if we crack the pipe. Undo it all the way and then use the ring end if we can. Should be able to move that. Just to make sure this is tight, which it's not. Now it is. And then put this union back on with fingers first. Don't want to cross thread it. And then just nip it. That'll do. Do the other three. All right, while well, the puddles are uh, soaking up, I'm just going to remove the silicon that's on the top of this sort of valve valve cover sort of mounting surface. Going to have to use one of the the giveaway scrapers, I'm afraid. So somebody's going to get a used scraper. <laughs> I'll have to buy a new one. Just go gentle, we don't want the silicon to fall into the engine. Don't know why, for the cost of a gasket, 12 quid or whatever it was, they didn't even bother changing it, I mean, it's 
at the state of that. And if they snapped a bolt in there as well. I think they have, haven't they? Fuck you know. In. Might get a set of mollies on it. Unless they've proper cross threaded it. Right, that's the puddles of diesel uh, mopped up. Clean the top of this with some blue roll. This bolt isn't coming out of there, so we're going to have to. Uh, make do with that as long as it's not leaking from that corner everything will be fine I'm just gonna now sort of pop these new pipes in I think so that's popped all the way home we're gonna get the new clips as well in fact I'm just gonna use the, the old ones I think because there's a part of it that's slightly longer if you look But what I'm going to do, I'm going to close them up like this. And that's going to grip tighter on that pipe. Hopefully. Yeah, that feels, feels nice and tight in there. Obviously we don't want to have to take all this off again because these clips have not done the job. Like we're going to have to use one new clip somewhere. One of them's gone missing. Again, squeeze it up. Out. Right, so that's them in. And what I usually like to do is just sort of get in here and try and prise the pipe out if it doesn't move. Obviously you don't want to go too hard and snap it. But if they don't pop out with these, they're not going to pop out at all. I've already checked that one. They look much better compared to how we started. Wicked. In lap, in lap back on then. So now we just want this new, new gasket in. Hopefully it's the right one. <laughs> Episode thirteen. Lovely. And now, reassemble. Oh. 
just need to. <sighs> the more rings want to go in there, don't they? What have I got? A bit of wood or something. Let's see what happens. Right, I think everything is back on that we've had off. Boost pipe, obviously this leak off pipe's now plugged in to the return. These pipes are sat a lot neater. Uh, EGR pipe is on, fuel filter's back in. I just want securing actually. I'm just gonna run it now with this air box sort of dangling there, uh, just to make sure it's not pooling down there and I'll uh, come back when I know more. Right, we've been running now for about five minutes. I don't know how much you can see down there. There's no puddles of diesel, like there was previous. The real test is underneath now. It was running for about two or three minutes when I first bought it. And after that, you could see it dripping diesel off, off the gearbox. So, I'm going to try not to get shit up. Let's see if I can show you. Can't fucking see out anyway. Just, just ignore the foliage. I don't think there's any drips. Looks dry to me. Result. Right so it seems like the diesel leak is sorted. Next up is the clutch. I've already started stripping the top end out. Battery tray. Uh, ECU's been a bit of a problem. It's got some shear bolts in it that we're going to have to remove. Um, but I just want to make sure these episodes are alright for you. Um, this Fiesta, there's quite a bit of work. Uh, so I don't know if sort of three episodes worth of Fiesta is too much. Should I condense it down into two episodes? Obviously, we're going to have to clean it and that as well. Don't know whether we... You fucking dick. I don't know whether you want to see the cleaning detail of it. It's entirely up to you lot. Let me know um, in the comments section. Um, I can condense it down if needs be. Um, but I mean, I like to show exactly what I've done, how i fixed it. Um don't know why it's just the way i am um but yeah let me know that is it for this episode wasn't too painful for episode 13 didn't break too much just a set of leak off pipes which 30 quid could have been worse and um episode 14 up next now in my head that was one episode away from the magic fifteen thousand pounds now obviously uh it hasn't turned out that way, but that's the way it goes. So you're going to end up seeing more of me. If that's what you want, even if it's not, I'm going to continue doing them. Cheers for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.